Uh, Trudeau came out in it with a, a big open letter to Premier Daniel Smith and uh, basically saying he's not going to stand by as anyone seeks to weaken pensions. His attack was on the, the uh, consideration that's going on of an Alberta pension plan right now. Now, one of the things that's interesting is I guess somebody with a little bit of economic knowledge did get uh, Justin aside and pull him over and let him know, hey, if Alberta pulls out of this plan, you're screwed because Alberta puts in a heck of a lot more than it takes out of it. You see, if it was just a wash, if it was just Alberta putting in as much as it gets out, then it wouldn't be a big deal, right? Alberta could step aside uh, and the plan will carry on. Alberta have its plan. But the problem is Alberta pulls out. Well, then the rest of the country has to pay more and they will get less. But you see, that's been the problem from the beginning. That's why Alberta is looking at pulling out of the plan. It's not getting a good or a fair deal. So what are you going to do about it, though, Justin? That's the thing. You're not going to stand by as anyone seeks to weaken pensions. Because you know what? It will not weaken the Alberta pensioners if Alberta pulls out of the plan. But yes, it will weaken the plan for the rest of the country. So are you going to try and ban Alberta from doing something that they're allowed to right in the legislation that governs the Canadian pension plan? It's right in there. The formula is in the plan as to how a province can pull out should it choose to and uh, how to calculate the amount of funds it's entitled to. What are you going to do? Rewrite the legislation retroactively? Again, folks, that gets me back to that uh, talking about getting out of confederation. I mean, he's just going to keep rewriting the rules as we go. I, I, I've used that analogy on here before, and I'm going to keep calling him out. My cousin Craig, I'll use his name this time. When we were kids, he used to always play these, these stupid card games. You get us playing cards, and he'd make up a game. And then you'd try to play the game, and you play by his rules, and you play a card and you put it down. He says, oh, no, you can't play that card because of this rule. And you can't play that card because of that rule. And th that's what he would do. And this is how the government's working with things. We've got our set of rules. It's called the Confederation, or, or the Constitution, I should say. But they, they seem to play loose and, and, and free with the rules within that Constitution, as we're seeing with the, when the Supreme Court told them, your legislation clashes with the Constitution. Your legislation breaks the rules of Canada. Your legislation is no good. You have to pull it. Well. They're saying, no, nah, no, we can come at this just from another angle. No, you can't. It's You broke the rules, but now they just change the rules as they go. Likewise with the Alberta Pension Plan pro, you know, consideration. Well, if Alberta's looking to leave the plans based on the rules within the plan, who on earth are you to suddenly say we can't? That's how it was written up, Mr. Trudeau. Get somebody to read it to you. I know you need a little help with those things. Maybe if we put the legislation governing the Canada Pension Plan into a pop-up book, Justin Trudeau could be brought into understanding how it works. So if you change those rules retroactively, you screw Albertans who have been over-contributing into that plan for decades. Again, the support for secession in Alberta that's sitting around 25% on average, it will only grow because that's when people, more people start to realize the deck is stacked against us. They're gonna, no matter how you try to play within the rules, they will just change the rules.